Okay, hi, Bob Saunders here, back playing some more Approaching Infinity. I didn't really expect to be doing a video today, but I was really thinking about changing the number of crafting parts it takes to craft uh, an item. Uh, in a medium difficulty game, it is currently seven with no, uh, with no buffs, and I was going to reduce that by one to six so that whenever you get uh, an officer um, with efficient construction, it brings it down, you know, from six to five is a much is a much better increase than from seven to six. Um, and then you can you can get it even lower and really focus on crafting. But before I do that, I want to do the honest thing and unlock that ship in the way that I've already been, you know, in, in this game that I've been trying to do it. I don't want to just say, well, I was having a hard time. So uh, but I think it's much more. Uh, fair and fun and relatable um, if I lower it just a little bit. So let's take a look. How many things do I need to craft? I need to craft nine more things. The first thing I'm going to do is attempt to craft nine things. I'm really looking uh, to release version 1.7a to the Steam community really soon. Almost certainly by the time you uh, actually get to see this video, that will have already happened, if you can parse that sentence. I mean, good job. I don't always make a whole lot of sense. Okay, so I'm crafting nine things. Um, as far as the achievement goes, it doesn't matter what I craft. Uh, I'm looking for something that's not going to break the bank. Oh, look, you can... There, I just built four artifact catalogs none of which I particularly need. Um, is she getting... Uh, yes, she's getting XP. All right, good. She likes crafting. She likes it when I craft. All right, five more things to go. Crafting lab. Water walkers. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Oh, uh, I shouldn't have that savior beacon. I spelled 100 wrong. It was 10, and that's how I found it. Um, ooh, I can build trans-dimensional storage. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, not enough room to craft. Okay, well, let's go sell all this stuff I built, and then I'll actually do the five. Oh, trans-dimensional storage is extremely... Extremely valuable. Uh, artifact catalog is decent. Cool. All right. Carry more commodities in your cargo. I'm not running a trading ship. But anyway. So, so that's not really valuable to me. Plus, I can build one any time I want, so I might as well sell it. Sell. Cool, and my di diplomacy officer gets XP when I sell expensive items. So, I mean, you know, it's not as if I could sell 5,000 of those things, because that's how much these people need. She needs 2,000 XP to level up. But it's a little bit, it's helpful. So anyway, I believe I'm sitting at 49 currently. Oh, I don't have Steam turned on. That's going to be a problem. It's not going to grant me the Steam achievement. So, let me fix that, if I can. So, uh, I guess while I'm waiting for Steam to come on, let me tell you a little bit about what I did today. Uh, there is a new component. It's specifically for, uh, for the Saigon ship, the Hauler. And it comes with a device called the Tradio. Tradio right there. Get shortage and surplus information even from unexplored sectors. Well, I uh, I went in and I made it so it's not just shortage and surplus that you're seeing. Um, it'll also give you information on what's the best price pretty much wherever you are for whatever you're carrying, um, whether you've been there before or not. So uh, it's going to be, I believe, extremely valuable for doing trader missions. So that ship is, is just going to be perfect for that. 
Anywhere, I've got the game restarting. Um, Steam knows I'm there. I can't get achievements without Steam, so. I mean, you can get in-game achievements without Steam, but I just want to make sure that everything triggers correctly. So load back up. And I'm going to build one more of those... Uh, one more trans-dimensional storage, because that's worth a lot, of, a lot of money. There we go. I can build it. And a new class of ship has been unlocked, the Scrap Hound. Cool. So, uh, probably by the time you've played this, this is going to be old news. But uh, in the future, it's going to be slightly easier to craft things. So, congratulations me. Um, the Scrap Hound is a great ship. If you like to craft, um, it starts with crafting unlock from the very beginning of the game. Um, let me see. Let's go take a look at that. I don't know if I've ever played a serious game with the Scrap Hound. Um, it's extremely slow. It's got really good hull. Um, it's got pretty mediocre sensors. A decent warp drive, but the cooldown is long. Um, got a built-in machine shop, which improves the quality of all crafted components and a crafting lab upgrade so that when you experiment, um, there's like a 75% chance that it's not going to use parts. So you can, you can take all those parts you start with and just, you know, discover all the schematics in the lab. You can build yourself up relatively quickly, uh, get a good crafting level, start building like overpowered equipment so you can head out into the larger universe. Um, the UA team starts off pretty well equipped. They're going to be a little slow, but uh, they've got hull shears so they can cut through damaged wall sections in ships, in shipwrecks. Um, it starts with two weapons. It does not start with the, either a shield or a cloak, but you can buy that. And with a hull of 120, it's going to be pretty tough anyway. Uh, so that's the Scrap Hound. Uh, let me get back to this game. I might start a new game for the sake of uh, just trying out some different ships. But anyway, what I'm really working on here is a quest for the pirates to get the Corsair, uh, a quest for the monks to get the counselor, and a quest for the resistance so I can get the destroyer. I'm going to backtrack, see if I can pick up that uh, destroyer quest. Whoa, I have a million credits. Threat level 108%. Oh my, is that a monk ship? I don't recall <laughs> starting this fight, but apparently it does. All right. Let my shield charge up, come back and strike him. Try to stay out of his firing range or line of sight. Such a big ship. Check that thing out. That's the biggest ship the monks have. Hey, what kind of ship is that? Help me, Pirate Raider. Aw, oh, he wouldn't respond to my hail. Help me, Pirate Raider. Nope. He's done talking. What about you? He won't talk either. Something happened. The blue shadow is ready for a promotion. All right. It looks like this thing is so big. Oh, man. It's so big that... All I have to do is keep, uh, keep running away and coming back. But it was draining my supplies using my weapons that much. <laughs> so anyway, I guess I better head back. Head back to the Firex base there. Um, stock up on supplies. Sell off those nano machines I found. Hey, that's a pretty good looking spacesuit there. Look at that. 100 more oxygen, 25 more hit points, twice as much environmental resistance. 
The thing about my current suit, though, is it has, wow, long-range jump drive. Man. The thing about my current suit, though, it has a built-in savior beacon. It's a savior suit. So, like, we can just return to the shuttle at any time. I mean, return to the ship at any time. Um, okay. I'm not going to buy any of that stuff. I already loaded up. These sensors are, well, better at scanning planets. Not as good as seeing other ships. I'm going to stick with what I have. Wow, planetary scanner. I think I like all my devices. Let's see if I can salvage any of these things. Nope. I'll sell it. Uh, I'll sell this too. Still not enough rep with the fire axe. Whoa. I must have, yep, a monk converter. Turned that high gravity planet into a Terran planet. It's a terraforming ship. Okay, so. Wait, this says I'm in a sector with a quest. So, this is the sector where I'm supposed to be killing those anchor drones. There it is. Boom. I need my heavy weapon to charge up. There we go. All right, that should have been it, huh? Five out of five. So let's see if there's a resistance base. Um, resistance base nearest sector 20. Um, I cannot quite make that jump. Maybe I'll go here. Go forward instead of backwards. You've done it. Time to recover the first item. But the Red Eye Raiders will be there to defend it. It is the Terran planet at 21, 10. Ooh, the Nightspan Void. Oh no, it's an Eater Station. <laughs> I am not going in there. I'm not even going to mess with it. I'm going to get supplies. Um, pick up a couple of these. Look at Brindley Kalpar and say no. Corrosive Grenade. Sounds like fun. Tactical cloaking device? Duration 17. That's excellent. I'm going to hold on to that. All right, so where's that quest planet? Okay, so that's unifiers versus eaters right there. I'm going to say hello. Our inner fire will consume you, says the eaters. Well, as long as you're fighting those guys, I'm not overly concerned. Okay, so where's this planet? Twenty one, comma ten. So about here? Yep. Oh my. Eater consumer. And dead. Unfortunately, the swarm comes out. Oh god, another one. <laughs> Man, that's some crazy stuff there. All right, many small islands. <laughs> the pirates, they like to hide their, hide their stuff in, in uh, island planets. Probably on caves, in caves, on island planets. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of monsters. Do I? Oh, I do. I have an incendiary launcher. Target the center of the group. All right, let's see what I have. I guess I have the shock beamer and the incendiary launcher. And if I'm going up against red eye raiders, well, a shock weapon is a really good thing to have. So I'm under the impression that there should be caves here. 
What do you think? And I don't want anyone to die right now. They seem to be faster than me. Okay. Regenerate and dodge. Do we have mountain walk? Yes. So I can isolate them and fight them one, one at a time. There we go. Death averted. Oops. Oh man, lost somebody. So I'm a little confused. I thought there would be caves here. Man, I don't want that thing to get away and start reproducing. Okay, slightly confused. Slightly confused. I seem to be in the right sector, the right planet. And I didn't see any caves, and I didn't see any red eye raiders or pirate, uh, I don't know, treasure chests or anything. Hmm. Okay, I don't seem to see anything else that's really great, anything better than what I have. Don't need that engine. Hazmat shield. Large compression rocket. That would put up my crafting level. I'll take it. Awesome. But it looks like I already know how to build one of these. Hmm. I thought someone was ready for promotion. Okay, so he protects against diseases, gets extra data, heals the away team, does extra damage to monsters. I get lots of extra data from, uh, from the Blue Shadow. What else? So I could take Ship Surgeon as a new skill, Archaeologist, uh, Hazardous Materials to reduce status effects. Um, not really sure what's the most useful thing to me in this game for this guy. But I think anything that increases survivability of the away team is a good choice. So he's a very well-rounded officer there, at least for science. Hmm, I really don't know what to do about that pirate quest. Let's take another look at that. Ooh, I found a piece of art. Neat. Um, okay, so this is definitely the right planet. With that thing telling me, hey, Captain, you got to go down there, like this is an important quest. I don't see anywhere else to go. Okay. Gonna do a little, uh, gonna do a little digging here. 
Let's see. You won't be able to see what I'm doing, but I'll try to talk you through it. Quests, race one, the first treasure. So, target planet kind, that's an island planet, it says right there. Um, kill what? Kill number. Hmm, requirement amount. I don't see a tag for caves. Where it's at, one, that's wrong. Huh. Okay. Next, I'm going to use my uh, use my dev tools, my knowledge. I'm going to go in there, see if I can get that planet to be re reconstructed. See if we come up with something different this time. Aha, I wonder if I need to change where it's at to 33. Because it's currently at 1. But maybe it should occur right on the island planet. Even if I change it now, it's not going to change what is loaded in my game. So I'm just going to try it again. It should regenerate the planet. All right, here we are. Uh-oh, another eater swarm. All right, scan unexplored, yep. Okay, it's an island planet. Guy de Rouge leveled up. There's more of those guys. Not really in the mood for that. Oh, so many. That's quite a few Nashers. Yeah, you're right about that. Oh, hey, look, with Steam turned on, you get to see my face. I'm definitely leading the away team. Whoa. No. X. Up. Up. Yes. I should have used Spin Attack. Should still have used Spin Attack. There we go. Whoa, look, it's the Red Eye Raiders. I wonder why they didn't spawn last time. Cool. And there's the X marks the spot. All right, I was sort of starting to give up hope. All right, so I'm in the fight. Dodge, regenerate. Uh-oh. I don't want to be fighting on two fronts here. Unfortunately, I am. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. All right. Get off that thing. I need it. Pirate treasure. Okay. Do I have teleport? Not currently equipped. Oh, hey. Let's use the savior beacon. Control B. Haha, <laughs> cool. I haven't done that before, right? Rowan Hackseed was injured. Oh, no. All right. Well, so for whatever reason, it didn't spawn the first time, but it did spawn the second time. I don't know why. 
I wonder if I, like, grenaded them or something? I sort of doubt it. I feel like it was just a failure, some kind of generation mistake. Hmm. Oh, well. I'll take a look later in the code and see what I can do about it. So now I have two quests to turn in, one to the pirates, one to the resistance. Nearest pirate base looks like Sector 21. So let's go there. Will you leave me alone? You know what? I'm not even fighting them. I'm just leaving. Oh man, 115 turns. That's forever. More eaters. That's also forever. Cool. Made short work of that one. I do not want to get rid of all my infamy. Thank you. Warp breach. That's a... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> I just meant to... I just meant to take a look at it. Oh, well. All right. So I got a slightly better grenade. I'm just going to salvage my other grenades. Might as well sell that armor. There's that old thing. Warp breach. Got that salvaged. So that way I can build one whenever I need to. It does take spectrum condensers. Sell this armor. Okay. Well, nothing here looks great. Monofilament grenade. Guy de Rouge is ready for a promotion. Uh, to anyone that I, you know, I'm saying that wrong and it's driving you insane, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, it's a fair sniper. Sawed off piercing beam. <laughs> well, that is a ton of damage if I can get close. Still, I like to have range so I can run away. I'm not taking a random banker quest. Okay, have I? No, I haven't. An alien signal. Cool, a hundred planets. All right, now there's hydrocarbon sludge there, and often you'll find uh, chemicals around places like that, but there are also a certain kind of monster that spawns around these things. And it doesn't show up on scans. There's the fire axe clue. I'm up to three out of five. All right, so I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing those. I forget what they're called. Primordial liquidators. <laughs> All right. Which is very good news. They're they're super tough. And I don't even know if I have... Oh, yeah, I got the incendiary launcher. That would take care of them. All right, heading back. I will go ahead and survey that. I think the bankers like toxic planets, don't they? Toxic planet preferred, 78,000. Awesome. All right, we're out of here. Going to turn in, uh, I'm going to say, the resistance quest. Hit that first. Well done, friend. Now we can move a little more freely. Okay. All right. 
I still have to do more for the resistance, though. I'm, I still don't have that ship. All right, research intercept. The bankers were performing secret research on a planet nearby. They've abandoned their work for now, so we need you to go take a look. Find any useful data you can. It will be in the underground caves there. I accept that quest. Okay. Now I also can turn in the pirate quest. Looking for something to do while my warp drive recharges. Let's take a look at this shipwreck. Cool dock with 50 shipwrecks. All right. Cool, fire fire takes those things right out. Spin attack, control Z. Oh, Narkra too. Save us, Captain. And these guys are the worst. Do I have anything that's really good against them? Yes, yes I do. Xenocide. Man, these guys are tough. Unfortunately, Xenocide doesn't really hurt anything else. I mean, it hurts bugs and plants. All right, I think, I think that was good enough. I bet my warp drive's ready to go now. So let's head off wherever the pirate base is. Right there, pirate base, space to warp, let's go. Okay, just about ready to call this episode. You faced them down and you came out alive. Well, well done. Now we'll take that and you can have this. 100,000 credits, 47 XP in a cargo vacuum. And not a ship. Sad, sad. All right, pirates. Contraband, sector anywhere. This has been a very profitable partnership so far. Now we need to corner the market on illegal goods. Bring us a hundred crates of contraband hidden on shipwrecks everywhere. All right. I can do that. Cargo vacuum. I don't think there's anything I want to take out enough to put that in. No, I need all that stuff. Or at least I really like it. Let's see. There's a shipwreck I haven't, uh, haven't checked out. Forgot to sell off all those chemicals I picked up. So let's go here. See if they've got any contraband. Well, they got a ton of it. Somebody's setting off a bunch of traps. Oh my. Those guys are tough. So this contraband belongs to the Mercs, the Red Eye Raiders. God, I love it when that stuff works. Yeah. I was hoping we'd come across a rare parts box. I don't see one. All right, let's head back. That was useful. About 15% done with that quest. Um, but hey, I unlocked one ship today, and that's pretty darn good. So I'm getting really close to getting the pirate ship and the... Uh, the human ship, the destroyer. 
we'll take that on next time. Thanks a lot for watching.